Welcome to Indian Spice Mix. Today we are going to prepare a green leafy vegetable and today we are choosing amaranth leaves. This is also known as Jolai Ki Saag in Hindi and Note Shag in um, Eastern India. Whatever the name be it, but whenever you see it um, in your local vegetable counter, please don't forget to buy. It is full of nutrition but at the same time it needs very minimal ingredient to cook it so it is worth to buy every time you see that i have washed the whole leaves after cutting their leaves uh, cutting the roots and um, after thoroughly washing and a preliminary screening of the leaves whichever rotten leaves or distorted leaves i have discarded them and then i will be uh, each stem i will be taking and folding it a couple of times so that it comes into a small tidy bunch and then i have started um, chopping it that way all the spinach you can actually uh, chop it um, uh, very in a very manageable and neat way so you can see how I have folded it a couple of times. I make it into a small pack and then I started um, chopping it first horizontal. And um, then I will uh, make the entire bunch into a turn into a vertical position and once again chop it. I have not discarded the stems if you can see because the stems are very tender and they taste just awesome. So I have, I'm using all throughout the um, uh, green leaf as well as the stem. Uh, no portion is wasted. Only the root portion I have discarded. So here is all the leaves, one bunch of leaves finely chopped. And now I will lit the flame. And um, I have added one tablespoon of uh, mustard oil. After allowing it to become smoky hot, I have added two red whole chili broken. And now I have adding um, around 10 to 15 garlic pods. If you want more, please add more. Because this will give the real taste of this recipe. I will be now sorting it for one or two minutes and you while you sort it you enjoy the beautiful fragments of this fried garlic it's just mind-blowing now I'm adding one bunch of uh, this chopped amaranth leaf and I will be quickly stir all together and mix them gently but please note I have not added all the chopped leaves till now and the reason I'm not doing so because I don't want the garlic to stay directly on the heat. As a result, it will be over fried and that will not uh, taste good. Now I have added other bunch, bunch of the leaves. And now I will be very carefully flipping them from top to bottom and left to right. And that is the reason I, I added, for, after adding the first bunch, I have actually um, stirred it very well because that time it was kind of a manageable condition. But now you can see the volume is more. But if you have a larger oak, please, um, you can definitely manage it even better the way I am doing. But with a um, normal size oak that we all have in our kitchen, it is, it is um, if you manage it this way, I shown, you will be really under control. Now you can see after 10 minutes the volume is kind of a half reduced. Until now I wanted to advise you that I have not uh, covered it with lead any time. So it is just um, quickly uh, sorting it. And now I am actually covering it with lead after 5 minutes. Just for 5 minutes I kept it like that and now I am removing it. This point I will be adding salt as per taste. We have to be a bit mindful that all the green leafy vegetables um, or any leafy vegetables um, have some kind of salt within it always. So we have to be a bit mindful that we should not overpower it, overpower it with lots of salt. After adding salt, naturally water is oozing out. And now I have switched my flame 
the gas flame to um, medium to high and um, quickly uh, stirring it. The reason I'm doing so is that one, I wanted to um, quickly dry up uh, the extra water and second, I don't want to keep the green leafy vegetable for long time over the stove because that will kill the color at the same time the nutrients. Now at the very last, I will be adding one tablespoon of uh, mustard oil and this gives lots of flavor to, to this very simple recipe. You just try it to experience this. And at the same time, those people in your family who like kind of a oily looking vegetables and they find that taste remains in oil, this way I actually fool them. This vegetable is now ready and you can serve it with hot steamy rice. No other alternative for this. I thank you so much for watching this video. Please consider subscribing us and if you like this video, don't forget to click on the like button.